So you, my friend, have just had a call with a business owner. They've agreed to pay you $500 a month for social media marketing services. Now, you need to make sure that number one, they pay you, and number two, you have a contract in place for the work that you're going to do. This is where a lot of beginner social media marketers go wrong. They feel like adding a contract in might push their client away, so they don't offer a contract, and then their client just pays them month to month whenever they feel like they need the service. Instead, what we wanna do is find those clients that are willing to commit to a three month, maybe even a six month contract with you from day one. This gives you more security, and it also shows that your client is more committed meaning you're probably gonna get them a better result because you've got more time to prove yourself to them. Now, knowing that you need to have a contract in place, the next question is how do I even do that? What does the contract look like? What should it say on it? And how do I send it to my clients so that they can sign it easily digitally? Well, I've paid for many tools that do this. Things like PandaDoc or DocuSign where you upload a document of a contract and it allows you to send a link to your client and they can click a link and then sign it and it goes back to you. The problem is a lot of these tools are quite expensive and especially the more clients you work with. It's not uncommon to be paying 30, 40, even $50 a month on some of these plans just to send documents to your clients, contracts, and have them sign it. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how using Go High Level's standard plan, which gives you access to a lot of other things, like being able to host your own website, to do email marketing, to have a CRM and a dashboard for all of your leads and a whole lot more, but they also have a feature that allows you to upload a contract and send it to your clients natively within the platform. And this process can even be automated in Go High Level so that as soon as you get a new client payment, you can set it up to trigger to automatically send this contract to the client. This will make you a lot more money, but this video specifically will save you a lot of money avoiding those expensive tools. Now, if you wanna try out Go High Level, if you click my affiliate link in the description of this video, you will get a 30-day free trial. Normally, you just get 14 days, so you're getting a bonus by using my link, but you'll also get access to my template. I'm gonna give you my snapshot template, which includes this contract template set up for you which I'm gonna show you in this video, my website template, my CRM template, and a whole lot more. So click that link if you wanna get a 30-day free trial just to try this out and see if you like it, and also get all the templates from my business. Okay, so once you've set up your Go High Level account, you wanna come into your main sub account, click on payments, and then in the payments tab, you're gonna see this section here, documents and contracts. We're gonna click templates, and that's gonna pull up my template. Okay, this is my proposal template, that you will have access to again if you use my link. So this right here is what the template looks like. So I'm gonna walk you through quickly so you understand what this is and then I'll walk you through how you can actually set this up to send it to your client and have them sign it. So first off, we're laying it out. It's a confidential proposal. This is being created by and this is where you put in your name or your business name. If you're just operating as yourself, you can put in your name. If you've got a business set up, you can put in your business name. So created by, let's say, XYZ agency for use in conjunction with client name. So what I've done here is, as you can see, there's these little tabs up here. So I've clicked add an element, and then you'll see here, we've got fillable fields. So these are essentially the boxes that you want the client to fill out. So in this case, we've added in a text field, I've then clicked on the text field. As you can see here, I put a, a placeholder just so like the person knows what to do. So this is client name, and we've put this as required. They have to fill this. If there's info you wanna put in this that isn't required, but you'd still like to have the option if the client wants to give you that info, of course you can leave it as unrequired, but in most cases, keep it unrequired. Cool, next up, payment terms. So this payment plan provided by, again, your name, in this example, $597 per month, provided by client I, and then this is where the client puts their name in, confirm that payment will be made via preferred payment method at the beginning of agreed payment period. And then this is from you. We will auto bill your preferred payment method at the start of the agreed payment period. Now you can change all this. This is just a template, okay? So for example, if you run a marketing agency and let's say you've signed a client through Upwork, well, then they might be paying you through Upwork. So you would just change the wording here to say that we will initiate the payment through Upwork. If they're paying you directly via bank, you'll explain that. This part here is more relevant if you're using something like Stripe, okay? Auto bill, essentially, you know, capturing their card details and then being able to bill them on kind of a direct debit, a subscription every month. So you can change that just depending 
on how you've got your business set up right now. Then we've got our non-disclosure. Okay, so the information discussed between the receiving party and the disclosing party is held confidential by your name, will not be sold, held, or viewed by any third-party companies. Uh, XYZ agency, your name, is allowed to show results to potential customers as examples of our work. We'll always remove any of our client's branding, company name, etc., to ensure the results are confidential. This essentially is just giving you that right that if you're creating social media content for a business, that you're making it clear. Hey, look, I'm not going to be, you know, throwing your, your name out there, but the content we make for you, I would like to show to my potential clients as proof of what I do. But I'll blur out your specific name and your details. And here we're just saying that this is a three month minimum. Obviously, just change this depending on what agreement you've put in place, but I do suggest that you try and get most of your clients on three months, six months, or even 12 month contracts. So one note and very important disclosure, this is not a legally binding proposal or contract, okay? And that's not why it's created. Could you, in theory, have somebody sign this and they don't honor this? Potentially. Will you bring them to court over this, over $597 a month? Probably not. My point in saying this to you is that I've created this template as a agreement between you and your client. It's not to go with the legal approach of, hey, I'm going to sue you, you know, if you opt out of this, but it's to show them that, hey, we've got an agreement. Let's clearly lay it out together and let's both sign it. Let's both put our name to this and make sure we both understand this. And then we've got our section for them to sign. So signed by, we've got our signature box. Again, how I've done that is add an element, signature, drag it in, and date. We've just put that here. So date, drag it over. Okay. Now there's two boxes. One is for you in your business. Okay. So your name, your business. You can go and change this. So put XYZ or whatever your business name is or your name. And same with the client name and company name. You can either put in their name and company name or you can just leave it as this and then they sign it here. Okay, so let's assume you're happy with this and we've got it all filled out. I'm going to now walk you through the next step and how you send this off to your client. So what's very important is that you set up these fields so that the right person is assigned to each of them. So for example, in this example, you want the client to sign this, but there's also this section for you to sign it. Okay, so we need to make sure obviously the ones that you need to sign, you sign and the ones that the client needs to sign, they sign. So let's go through it. Let's go to the ones that you're meant to sign. So here, and then you'll see here, there's a box that says to be signed by, and this is where you just click through and you make sure it's you. So in my case, I'm gonna put it to me, okay? And look, it actually automatically puts my name here as well, which is pretty cool. Date, I'm gonna put that again as me. So to be filled by Adam Walsh, great. This one, okay, contact. We're just going to put it as contact. So you would obviously change this to your client. So you'd put in their email, add them as a contact, and then it will go to them. I'm going to click save. Now it's saved. Fantastic. You can go and actually publish it and create a public document. It's not what we're going to do here. We're going to click use template. Now, there we go. Template is now in use. Let's review it. So click here to be filled by. And this is where, in this case, I've only got my details here, but you would add in a client. So you type in their name, their email, and get all of that set up. Assign it to them, as we just showed you. And same again, making sure that you've got both of these assigned to different people. Before you actually click send, just make sure that you've clicked on this tab here. So recipients. And in here, okay, you're going to see primary client is me, but then I've got two accounts. Okay. So I'm basically set up as both of them. In your case, obviously, you would make this very clear, okay? So you'd put the client in and then you, you in as well. Once you're done that, then you can click send, okay? And then you can see you can do an email or a link. I've always done link, okay? But any tool I've ever used, always link. So share via link and then click generate links here. And then once that's done, you're gonna see you've got two different links, right? Because again, you're sending this to two different people. So in my case, I've got one here for Adam Walsh and one here for Adam Walsh. So what you would do for the one that you need to sign, you would just copy it open it up in a new browser tab and go ahead and sign it. Now, this is what it looks like, okay? So when you click the link and when your client clicks the link so that you understand this, okay? So you click this, start filling out and then it'll just point you to each one. So I'm just gonna put in my name. You'll see then it updates it for this one as well. I'm just gonna click next though, just to show how it does it. So next, again, I'm gonna put my signature. So you can see here, you can do a type or you can actually draw it. Up to you how you do that. Date, we'll put today's date. Super easy, right? We're going to sign again. We're going to select the date, today's date, and then you'll see six to six filled, finish, and then we're basically good to go. Now, once it's done, you see here, we'll send a signed copy for reference when the document has been accepted by all parties. 
Okay, so essentially you're gonna get a copy of this when it's fully signed by everybody. Now in this case, I've signed everything, okay? So there's no need to wait. I can click download PDF and then voila, that's it, done. I save that to my folder for my client if they've gone and actually signed it and I'm good to go. So now you can see this is what it looks like. So this is the saved file. So the name is there. Again, you would obviously change this yourself before sending it off and then we've got all of this, okay? So good to go. And you'll see it's got like this little kind of code thing here. This is just to kind of, I guess, show that like this has been signed. It's not like you just Photoshop this in, you know, that this actually has a reference number as well. Cool. So back here, okay, we're back in documents and contracts. You'll see here I've got one draft, which is my template. And then we've got waiting for others. Okay, so this is the one we've just looked at today. So you actually know where we're at with this. So you can check this. If you've got 10 of these sent out, you can see, okay, I've sent this out. Okay, has it been fully signed? Has it been viewed? Uh -huh. Now, this is really useful, right? The viewed, because if I've had a conversation with a client, I've sent them this and they've viewed it and a day goes by and they haven't signed it, that's normally an indicator to me of like, ah, maybe there's something in the contract that they don't like. So I'm gonna reach out to them then and say something along the lines of like, hey, just checking if you got time to sign that. Was there anything in there that you needed clarity on or you needed me to explain? Let me know, talk soon. Okay, a very simple follow-up just to make sure that everything is A-OK. -okay. And when you have another client that you need to send this to, you have a few options. You can just go to the template again, so go back to the template and use that, or you can just duplicate one out. It's also quite easy. So you can click these three dots here, clone, and then you can just edit the details and send it to a new client. Now, keep in mind that is just a template. Again, you can customize that and add anything to that that you think is relevant. You can even add like images to your contract to make it look more engaging or even have a breakdown of your package of not just the price, but exactly what they're getting within that package. It's completely up to you. Now, I've used a very similar template to what I've just shown you today, really to sign hundreds of clients. So I know this works for low ticket deals, a few hundred a month, but I've also had clients pay 2,000 to 3,000 per month with that exact contract template. Again, really important that you do this, okay? Working with clients just month to month, it can work, it's fine, but it doesn't give you that security. Working with clients on three or six month contracts just gives you more security. And again, it gives you a client that's more willing to commit to the process. They're not just looking at this of like, hey, I'm gonna pay for a month and hope for the best, but they're like, hey, I'm gonna pay for three months. I'm gonna make sure that we give it a full three months, enough time to really see good results from this. Now again, if you wanna get that exact template, okay, you can just install it right into your account and get my 30 day free trial for Go High Level and all the other templates like my website template and my CRM dashboard template just click the link in the description of this video you can go through my affiliate link again you get 30 days free so at least just try it out and see how it goes and hopefully you've enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one